Now during these past two days I've been testing some uh, brand new PowerChip X-Series based DDR3 memories and I got a very interesting kit from my good friend Marcin Oriba from Poland. This could be the best PowerChip based DDR3 memory that we have ever seen in the community of overclocking in the whole world if we exclude like the very special hand-selected media kits from G-Skill for example like the G-Skill Trident 2500 Cas8 those really weird kits whatever these are ADATA XPG Gaming or however you want to call it 2999 memory sticks these are pretty basic uh, DDR3 memories, power chip based DDR3 memories that ADATA released back in the day, like 2009, 2010, I think. They have the best, or well, well, supposedly the best PCB for overclocking, especially for sub zero overclocking, the 8155. Although I don't really believe this whole thing, at least if you compare 8117 and 8155, I don't see much big of a difference. But apparently this should be the best and this particular kit seems very very strong we have 2800 you can see 2800 8 12 8 28 common rate 1 1.87 1.875 volts with uh, tr trd rd4 the best power chip based DDR3 memory I have seen this far has been uh, the G-Skill Flare boasted by Redux which could run pretty much this uh, type of configuration with 1.86 volts but that was only one memory stick and Windows XP. This is Windows 7 as I don't have uh, Windows XP a hand at the moment for this platform so only Windows 7 so this one should be pretty much the very same level and this is dual channel he only used one memory stick and he used TR, TRD RD5 for 1.86 volts and uh, based on his description with 4 value 4 uh, he needed like 1.91 1.92 so this could be better the only difference that I see at the moment is the uh, rust to rust delay trrd at five whereas he ran four so i don't know how much that matters but it doesn't really matter this is definitely the best i've ever seen maybe not for the utmost highest memory frequencies as uh, my patriots sticks could run like 2850 super 32 m and even close to 20 uh, 2900 uh, voltage requirement is better on these a data sticks compared to my Patriot sticks like for example the 2666 spinning profile 8128 or 8118 tight sub timings etc these a data sticks only need like 1.74 1.75 my Patriot sticks need like 1.82 1.83 but my Patriot sticks they seem to scale a bit better with voltage towards the end I can run even two volts and over two volts I mean on air cooling which is uh, not always that common with these power chip based DDR3 memories but yeah that's pretty much it so uh, great finding huge thanks to my good friend Reba Marcin from Poland for these memories they will be put to good uh, good use I want to replace these heat sinks with some uh, custom DDR3 heat sinks like the ones from uh, Bart's his fine-tuned PSC heat sinks are definitely good and maybe try these on LN2. Can we see CAS5, 2900, 2800, something like this. But yeah, if you like to see this short DDR3 hardware overclocking demonstration, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching one of my videos once again, and I will see you on the next one.